forms of the ideal gas equation. If I asked you, can you write down the ideal gas equation? I hope everybody can answer if yes, I can write down the ideal gas equation. What version would you write down? Because there's multiple versions. Why don't you test yourself? Stop right now. Write down the ideal gas equation. All right, so this is an equation you should really know well. Putting it on a mass basis as well as on a molar basis. Now, probably the molar basis is more familiar. And maybe you memorize it like this. P cap V is equal to N R bar T. R bar, which is 8.314 kilojoules per kilomole Kelvin. That's the universal gas constant. Or somebody writes it 8.314 kilopascal times meter cubed per kilomole Kelvin. This temperature you have to remember is in Kelvin or it has to be an absolute temperature scale. Just like this has to be an absolute pressure scale. It cannot be gauge pressure. Neither that temperature can be degree C. This is the number of moles typically in kilomoles this is the volume in cubic meter, true? Do this, divide this equation by N. So you get cap V divided by N equal to R bar T. Somebody says, hey, I know an another name for that. What is that? It's lowercase or script V bar. It's a specific volume, but not on a mass basis. It's on a molar basis. And so what are the units on this one? It's meters cubed per kilomole. What is the equation that ties together amount in a molar description and the amount in a mass description? Is it the equation that uh, M is equal to N times cap M? Okay, and what is cap M? Molar mass. What are the units of cap M? Kilograms per kilomole. Lowercase n is the number of moles or amount in kilomoles, and M is the amount in mass. So if I want to, I can put P cap V is equal to R bar over T, the one you memorized, and put a cap M here and a cap M there. What is the product of N times cap M, the mass? What is R bar divided by M, the gas constant for whatever gas we're dealing with? So if we're dealing with air, it's a different R. Now again, let me just emphasize R maybe for air, 8.314 divided by 28.97 kilopascal meter cubed per kilomole Kelvin kilograms per kilomole. So the kilomoles cancel and you're left with a value of something like 0.287 kilopascal meter cubed per kilogram Kelvin. So there is a very big difference between R and R bar, just like lowercase script v and lowercase script v bar. And if you want, then you put this. P cap v divided by m is equal to rt. Well, what's the name of this? Isn't that this? So these are very familiar equations. I would say this is your number one equation. And maybe this is your number two equation. This is your number three equation. This is your number four equation. Hey, I thought you said you're going to show us five equations. What's the fifth version of the ideal gas equation? A lot of classes don't like V for specific volume. They like the reciprocal of V. What is the reciprocal of density, mass density? It's a trivial adapt adaptation, but you'll see it where they say P is equal to rho RT. That's actually a very common form of the ideal gas equation.